What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. So today we're going to be looking at the Town Hall 11 Drag Bat Attack. We're going to see if we can break down this base here along with a few others and bring in some 3 stars. So let's go do this. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the action. Alright guys, let's break down this base here and see if we can figure it out. So first of all, I want to identify where is the splash damage. So I see splash damage all on this side of the base here. I have three wizard towers and inferno. On the other side of the base, I have just one wizard tower and I have an inferno and a wizard tower that can be frozen together. I think it's pretty close right in the line there. That'd be a tough freeze. I think I can freeze right there. I don't know if we'll take that risk though. It is a very, very tough freeze, pushing the limits of the radius of that freeze. So maybe we can just tank that wizard tower and send in bats through this area here. And I want to come in with the dragons on the opposite and I need to get these expos tanked before the bats move through and I need to get that eagle down. So how do we get the dragons into the base here? Well, we got to form that funnel first of all. So I want to avoid pulling the CC here. I know that the CC on this base is a hound and a balloon. So I wanna avoid pulling that. So I wanna keep my heroes far away from that CC to make sure that they never go into that range and we leave that CC in there. So I'm gonna have my heroes go in on the top side to form this side of the funnel and we'll punch the dragons right into this air defense here. So we'll take out this air defense with my heroes, clear out these storages, clear out the Grand Warden statue and a couple Teslas in that area. And if they go this way and take out that Wizard Tower, great. If they go this way, they'll just tighten my funnel a bit. Either way, I think it'll be all right. And they'll never pull the CC as the main thing. So other side of the funnel, we have this area out here with a lot of trash out here, but I have a, a Stone Slammer could go right through here. I have a couple Teslas out here. So I have a Tesla that is right here in between those buildings. And then I could have it go from there to here. Take out another Tesla that's over by this wizard tower, or arch tower, I mean, and then it would work its way and join up with the dragons. I can follow it up with the baby dragon. And I just need to clear like this gold mine here and that should solidify the funnel. And then we'll uh, be able to punch right in with the dragon. We'll have a hound to deal with the, the air defense as we move through. And they should go under a rage as we uh, approach the queen and with no CC to deal with, I should maybe I'll have to fight the sweeper just a little bit there, depending on exactly how they path. So we'll have a rage basically down over the top of the air defense here, and that should carry me through to the eagle. As soon as these expos are tanked, then we will send in the bats along the top side here. Maybe I'll throw in a uh, wizard tower, or yeah, I'll throw in a couple giants or uh, ice golem or something here to do a little bit of tanking to get me through that wizard tower, and that should carry me through the whole base. We'll uh, freeze the backside here and we'll freeze the inferno as they move through, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we'll clean sweep this base. Let's go double check on the troops to make sure we're ready to go. All right, we're ready to go in. Let's do this. Go in live. In three, two, one. We're live. So, heroes up here. Minion or something up there, start working in that corner. Get the stone slammer with our balloon in front of it there. Slammer. Let's work its way through. Uh, baby dragon here, pop that king ability. Let him work his way through. We can step up and take out that inferno or the air defense. I don't need to wait for her, so we'll start the dragons up on the top side here. The warden. Hound. Now. Double balloons. Rage now. Hounds out in front. We'll wait for the uh, warden shots. Uh, eagle coming in. Now, I don't know where the eagle's going, but we're right there. Uh, Queen's gonna continue working her way along the top side there. We'll pop her ability. Can she get through the the tower up there? Looks like our bats are ready to go in. Queen got the wizard tower. Freeze. Freeze. Okay. Freeze all this together. Freeze. And that ice golem on the back side there. Freeze. One more freeze. Freeze. Alright, I think we got it wrecked. We're on these, uh... There we go. Easy day. So many freezes. So many... Five freezes. I love a five freeze drag bat. I think it's one of the best ways to do it. You get so much protection for those bats and we absolutely crushed Gilly's base here. And hopefully we can bring in a six pack. Let's go see if we can plan out another one here and find another six pack. Let's do it. 
All right, guys, here's the next phase that we're gonna be attacking. Let's break it down here. We want to, first of all, I wanna go after the eagle with my dragons, just like on the last attack. The quicker you can take down the eagle, the better, and it will never retarget to your bats, so that's always a bonus. But we want to form the funnel here. So I need to find a good spot to sue my heroes to go in and form the funnel without pulling the CC. So I want to keep them out of CC range there. As you can see, the CC range does not extend outside of the base on this one. So I can send in my heroes anywhere I want. So I see on this base, all the air defenses on the bottom side of here are all reachable potentially. So this one here has the king guarding it. So that'll reduce the value of my hero. So we'll avoid doing that one. But this one here is reachable from outside and there's a wizard tower next to it. And I want to go in after the eagle anyway. So it forms half of my funnel if I go in right here. So if I can go in clear the to the wizard tower, then that'll form half the funnel. That is need to funnel over here. I'm thinking if I start the dragons out here, they can start punching in. I'll throw a hound out here and I'll send in the slammer on the side here to start moving up through these buildings. Maybe it'll path into the air defense there and we'll have the a baby dragon to clear trash to keep those dragons centered and push them into the base. As soon as this wizard tower is down, the eagle is down and the expos, uh, as many of them are as possible are tanked. So at least these three are either down or tanked then we'll be able to send in the dragons. I have a sweeper that's gonna be fighting here a little bit here, so I will have a rage as soon as I engage that sweeper, and that'll help me get through the Inferno Tower, the Expos, the Queen, and any CC troops that go out, and then also help me carry through that Eagle. So I'm gonna get a big value out of a single rage there, and it should carry me through the bulk of the base. Then, as soon as this Wizard Tower is down, I have pathing for bats to go through this mortar, to go through the Archer Tower, and into the Inferno here. Once that Inferno is uh, being approached there, actually pretty much as soon as the bats go down, we'll immediately start freezing this Inferno. And I like to go after the Inferno first before the Wizard Towers, if you have to choose a direction for the bats, because if you if you start in the, the Wizard Tower, then you have to freeze the Wizard Tower and you have to freeze the Inferno. If I come in on the Inferno side because it's longer range, then I just freeze the Inferno and I don't have to touch the freezes onto that Wizard Tower until after I engage the Wizard Tower. So I can basically clear out that Inferno and then as soon as the Inferno goes down, then I can freeze the Wizard Tower and keep moving that bad way for the base. It'll continue moving. I'll have, once again, five freezes to continue it through. It'll wrap all the way down to the Wizard Tower on the bottom side and clear out the base with the dragon. So. I think it should be good. We'll see if we have a stone slammer and we'll go give this a shot and maybe bring in the six pack. All right, guys, we got the stone slammer we need. Let's go hit this and bring in this six pack. Here we go. Going live in three, two, one. We're live. Let's do this. Here we go. Starting with those heroes, we're gonna work our way into the base there. Let's throw a minion here to just kind of funnel those heroes into where we want them. Get the king and the queen out there. We'll uh, wait just a second there. Let them work their way in there. We're not in a rush to start the next part of the attack there. So let's get them do their thing. Work their way in. Bring the minion out here. There we go. All right, wait for the king. I want to have him ditch the queen yet, so pop that king. Where is he going to go? Sorry to clear trash on that side there. All right, we'll start this uh, hound, slammer, baby, dragons. Here we go. We're going in. Oh, I dropped all my balloons before the... That's all right. That's perfect. Get a rage down. Pop that queen ability while she's fighting off. Looks like a witch. Something. I don't know. Something in there. Pop that... Oh, my warden ability was a little bit shy. The dragons there or whatever was all lagging behind just a little bit there. We'll throw a couple minions up at the top there and we'll get ready to send in the bats now. Freeze. 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 Keep moving. One more freeze. That wizard tower frozen until it's down. Uh, it's down. All right, moving on. Freeze. Nothing left to throw in those bats, so let's keep the arch tower frozen, I guess. Done. Air defense down. Get it, get it. All right, good, good, good. Do we have enough? I think we can collapse in on the last of this. We gonna get a six pack on this. We got it. I think I got plenty of dragons. Most of them are full health there. I think we got it. Yeah, this is in the bag, guys. This is in the bag. 
Six pack with the drag bat, bringing it home. Got some good value out of those uh, out of those uh, bats. Using five freezes, my favorite way to do this attack. Usually some people would like to use more bats and less freezes, but I think it's more important to just save the bats that you already have there and keep them protected. And it worked out perfectly for me there. And we brought in the six pack, beautiful. All right, guys, we're just gonna bounce over here to double barrel for just a minute. And we have some awesome attacks coming in here during our clan war leagues. I have an 11 V 12 that I landed and we're gonna check out infamous beast here. So these are both against single infernos. And so I can show you how to beat this with single infernos against a regular base. And I'll show you another one where I'm gonna take down a ring base and show you how to beat those with a drag bat as well. So the basic idea of this attack is that you're gonna form the funnel exactly like you did with other attacks there. Gonna use the queen and the king or one on either side there to form part of the funnel. Then he's gonna use the E-drag on the other side to form that funnel and get it nice and tight. Queen takes out an air defense, so perfect funnel, and gets it nice and tight. Look at the lane for the dragons to shoot in here, right towards the eagle, right towards that last air defense, and right towards that inferno. So we will use the freezes to actually protect the dragons. You don't need as many freezes to protect the bats when you're doing a, a single inferno attack because you're not gonna be, they're not gonna be in danger. You only have to take out the, the wizard towers and it, pretty much the bats have free reign over the base after that. So you do wanna wait till after the eagle's down, be patient with those bats and wait till they, the dragons are into the core of the base. They're tanking everything just the same as the other attack there. He brings in the soul slammer on the side there to go after that wizard tower. And as soon as everything over there is down, and he has a straight path for the bats he can send in the bats and they don't need any freezes so he has two freezes just to get through the wizard tower over here but he used the other freezes to protect the dragons on their entry from that single inferno from the eagle from the sweeper and push through it all there he uses both of his freezers to get through the or through the wizard tower i don't think he actually needed both of them but he had them there just as a precaution and he absolutely wrecks his base this is how you bring down single infernos with the drag bat it's just a reallocation of your freezes. Just use them to protect the dragons instead of the bats because you don't need them to protect the bats. So with that, we're actually expanding uh, Double Barrel here into a couple more clans here, Double Barrel 2 and Double Barrel 3. And so we're gonna use the other twos as a, like a more casual and feeder clans. And we're actually gonna be starting to push Double Barrel into competitive play. So we'll start preps for that and hopefully we'll get into one of the champion war leagues, uh, maybe light next season we're going to be pushing for it so if you want to get a part uh or be a part of double barrel then hit me up on discord join my discord the link is in the description of the video and we'll see if you can get in here and do some uh work with the guys that are in here we got some great players here actually check this out this is crazy so figo has gone perfect three wars in a row hitting the number one max town hall 12 and he just went into the last war here and what do you know he opens it up with another triple. He's absolutely wrecking here, and hopefully he'll be on part of the or part of the team for that. And one of the top Town Hall 12 players in the game right there for a casual clan is insane to go perfect that many wars in a row. But let's go check out this 11 v 12 that I landed here. It is right here against a ring base with single. I think actually I think it had a mix of single and multi infernos right here. So let's check it out. We have. Uh, yeah, all single infernos in the core there. It's a lower tier Town Hall 11, or uh, Town Hall 12, I mean. It's a near max Town Hall 11 that it looks like it freshly went to Town Hall 12. Drop that next inferno, and we're gonna break in here and take it down. I tried to wall break my heroes in over in the corner here and go in to try to break the ring of defenses and take down this air defense, but I wall break failed. The mortar landed right as I dropped my wall breakers, and I lost my wall breakers, so the queen never went in here. I actually wanted my heroes to go all the way in, take out the sweepers take out the air defense and it didn't work and i was gonna then funnel the e-drag over here at 4 30 but i had to change the plan here because the heroes did enter the base there and i didn't break the ring of defenses so we had to adjust on the fly here the queen still stepped up and broke the ring on the opposite side there and it cleared a way for me to go there but i had to send in the dragons so they'd go to the core and that's what it's all about you got to break the ring in two spots there to give yourself access to the core there we have an e-drag coming out we got to be patient to let the dragons get into the core here i brought two rages i like to bring one for the initial approach and then another one for that dense core because it becomes very very dangerous in there and then we use the warden ability and we use the uh 
I used uh, Word Ability and the Freezes to protect myself, just like that last attack from those single Infernos, and let those uh, dragons just punch through the core there, freezing as much as I can there in his compact cores, it becomes a little bit easier there, but they're usually full of traps as well, so if you can help it, then try to save your Word Ability to get to the core. I used mine a little bit early there, and it almost cost me the raid there, because this uh, Inferno started roasting my stuff. I needed the rest of the Freezes to get the bats through the base, so I couldn't actually use them on the, the core. I ended up using and one more there because I saw that the bats were doing well and they were going to make it through but I was losing so many dragons to that single inferno that I was almost running out of steam there I had one dragon left it was getting targeted and then the bats sweep in oh actually the one dragon split up that one died so the bats sweep through and finish it off here and then we were just fighting the clock from there this one came very very close on time I think I had like three or four seconds left as it came to a close here but we landed this 11 v 12 it wasn't a very high 12 honestly but we still got to bring him in here when we have this mismatch in Clan War Leagues. And so tomorrow I'm going to be talking about how to overcome some mismatches in Clan War Leagues. And I have a few 9v12 attacks to show you to show you how to bring in those uh, two stars when it becomes very difficult to land uh, the, anything when you're in a 11v12, or excuse me, when you're in a, a Clan War League with a mismatch. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and give the Drag Bat Wave uh, attack a little bit of try there and get some practice in under it. It's a very strong strategy at Town Hall 11. One of the strongest, I think, uh, between this and the Pekka Bow Bat and the Bat Slap, there's pretty much no base you can't beat. So learn these three strategies and go out there and give it a shot. That's it for today, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.